Hello guys, uh, this is a video, a uh, quick one I hope, is, uh, make, uh, is about making uh, managers in your game, which almost every game will have, uh, things from like input manager, audio manager, you know, usually decal manager, having a particle system in it, etc, etc, so game state manager, menu manager, etc. So uh, we usually make them singletons and uh, singletons are basically uh, objects which have a static reference to one of their instances okay so um, <coughs> um, if you don't understand what singletons are basically it's a developer's way of uh, you know restricting himself to having only one instance of a certain thing so uh, let's quickly uh, do it so uh, let's create an empty object and let's imagine we're going to have a script on it which will be our manager okay so imagine this is our game state manager okay so we plan to use it to uh, change our scenes and manage the overall state of our game so let's quickly create a scripts folder and let's create a script called game state manager okay game state manager and let's quickly open it as well as attach an instance of it to our object okay so now this is our manager okay what uh, dif distinguishes uh, this uh, uh, let's quickly save the scene uh, this uh, script from other scripts would be the fact that it would be a singleton i.e. having a reference or having a static reference to itself let me show you what that means okay now imagine you had another script let's for the purpose of demonstration create a rudimentary scene so you can imagine it more easily let's say we have a scene on which we have a cube which is let's say our player create another script called player okay this cube is our player okay so now managers are usually objects which have some kind of uh, supervisory role in your game and uh, a lot of other objects um, for example this player might need to contact the manager for example uh, it might want to play certain audio and for that it would need to contact the audio manager but the problem is you cannot keep dragging references to your uh, script all the time most people would do simply this which is I would say a bad way to do this is let's say they have this player script and they will simply make a public reference here and then drag it okay so this is a bad way I would say even if unity encourages you but you need some kind of discipline uh, to know when to drag things and when not to so in case of managers a lot of things are going to require a reference to a manager and you cannot drag your audio manager into every single thing that needs an audio manager okay so for game state manager i think uh, for our example it would have been better if we also had an audio manager okay so let's create an audio manager as well create c sharp script audio manager okay and i think i misspelled it okay now it's better so now we have these three scripts let's start working on our game state manager first game state manager okay so right now it's a mono behavior which basically means it can be attached to different things and all the mono behavior callbacks such as update start etc will run on it but uh, we need it to be a manager okay so the fastest way to do it which i i will give you a better way in this video as well but the fastest way is public static instance okay so now it has oh, sorry public static game state manager instance okay so what that says is that this is a field which is a static field so basically 
it means that this field exists in the class not individual instances okay so if one instance uh, replaces what's uh, inside the instance field uh, it would change for everyone okay so now imagine as soon as this object uh, uh, wakes up okay let's um, let's say in the wake or in the start what we can uh, can do is let's say awake and what we can do is as soon as it wakes up it says instance is equal to this okay so that's the fastest way you can make a singleton now this is a singleton why now this game state manager object and the script attached on it is technically a singleton the, the script is a singleton how can we test it for example the player wanted to contact the let's say in start okay let's say the player wanted to contact the state manager so it could say game state manager dot instance and this the fact that game state manager dot instance is working without us having to have a public game state manager my state manager and then having to go here and drag it here let's wait for it to appear oh it is not appearing okay let's see if it should appear did we write it in the player script public game state manager my state manager it should work hmm okay okay let forget it okay sorry my script is unfinished at this stage okay see so without me having to drag it here I didn't need that I just had to do game state manager dot instance okay but that requires or that is my or the developer ways of uh, developers way of saying that there will always be one state manager okay how can we ensure that we could basically do okay if 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 you wake up let's say if you wake up if if you wake up and instance is null okay so this means that you are the first one and probably you have to be the manager so what we could do is instance is equal to null okay else if a manager or the instance already has something in it which basically means you woke up or someone accidentally added two state managers uh, then you need to kill yourself okay so you could simply do destroy or you know uh, destroy game object okay so now uh, but if, if you've noticed I've been doing it rather quickly because I I don't want to do it this way okay so this is a, you would have to do this amount of code in every manager you have okay so the smart move would be for us to have some kind of generic scripts okay which we could use as base classes for our uh, any script we wanted to make a manager let's suppose in the audio manager I want this guy to also have a reference to uh, instance reference a static instance but I also want the audio manager to be a singleton but I don't want to do or have to do all this code again and again so let's do strategy number two which is the main strategy we should have a plug-and-play and reusable system of making things singleton okay so i made a base classes 
uh, folder let's make a script called singleton okay okay let's double click it okay reload all okay now this would be our script which would technically be our parent to all the scripts we would want in the future to be uh, managers okay and I want this script to be very reusable so I can just copy paste this in all the game projects I'm working on for instance okay so point number one imagine our game state manager now instead of inheriting from mono behavior says I want to inherit from singleton okay and by simply doing this I want my game state manager to become a singleton that's all I want to do in the future to make my scripts inherit from singleton instead of mono behavior and that should be all I have to do so how can we make that possible number one first of all this script inherits from mono behavior which technically makes of both of these scripts mono behaviors as well as because they inherit from singleton and singleton inherits from mono behavior which suits us perfectly okay so first of all we want a static reference to itself okay now I say public static instance oh sorry singleton okay now do you notice there is a problem we want our reference to be of the type this not this okay why because people who would be using or uh, the instance uh, people by people I mean scripts would be expecting functionality after this dot to be of the game state manager they want to say game state manager dot instance they, they cannot say singleton dot instance okay so what we need to do is we need to make our singleton class into a generic class okay we want want the ability to tell this uh, parent that I am of this type okay so whatever a variable or instance uh, field you're going to create should be of type T and it should be called instance okay so now it knows this T stands for whatever is passed through by the child so the game state manager would say game state manager okay that's it it inherits from singleton and it tells it that I'm a game state manager the audio manager would say singleton audio manager okay so what do we need to do now now we need I need I shouldn't have this app. okay now that's our instance static instance okay so let's quickly test it if it's working if the player says game state manager dot instance okay it sees the instance variable although there is nothing here it's coming from here this one and the t is correct if we put our cursor on it we know that it's of a game uh, game state manager type the the one on the very left which says okay so game state manager does indeed have a static field in it called instance okay what do we need to do now we need to put in the actual functionality okay so what we could do is do it in the awake but we don't want to do it we need to do it in a better way the better way would be to have a property instead properties allow us to do certain things whenever uh, some information is asked of a field okay so we encapsulate this field in fact let me do it manually so you know what what's happening public static uh, what was it called yeah T uh, instance okay now this needs to be private because we want to cover it up with a property and that property would be called public static T instance with a capital this time and we put in get inside of it as well as set inside of it okay now for the set we can simply do 
basically we as uh, storage we will use this uh, small i one the private one to keep the actual information hidden whoever wants to ask us for the instance will be using the capital i one because it's public so if someone tries to set your instance simply put in the small i one is equal to value so if someone says change the instance put whatever they want uh, the value to be set to put it in here okay but if they want to get it now that's the interesting part if they want to get the instance first of all check if small instance or the actual container is equal to null or not okay so let's say it is null what do we need to do if it's null we need to create an instance okay so what do we do now we need to create an instance okay so let's create an instance of uh, this type okay so what we need to do is or maybe if the instance is null let's create a game object for it as well variable object is equal to new game object okay so because we need something to attach ourselves to so because we, we found it to be null we need to create an empty object for it as well and then we're going to attach through uh, uh, attach a state manager to it through code we're doing it all through code because the code uh, someone asked for a game state manager or an audio managers instance and found it to be null so first of all we get a new game object okay then we say uh, object sorry obj dot add component of type t okay and something didn't go wrong okay yes let me quickly do that okay so in order to uh, be able to attach it to uh, an object we need to define what type of t is acceptable so that it can reliably uh, do operations on it okay so in the mono after mono behavior we say where t component okay so we want to ensure that whatever t is passed in it would be considered as a component so object dot add component t so basically what we're doing is we are creating an empty object and we attach a game state manager or an audio manager whatever we need it okay so once we have done that we can basically return that uh, that uh, component we just created okay but first of all it would be smart to create a reference to it wouldn't it <coughs> so let's say in the small instance is equal to new t okay and this is not working okay no we don't want that let me quickly check um where was it yeah okay uh 